want to share with you an awesome idea. Are you on a weight loss journey or are you already where you want to be and you're trying your very hardest to maintain that weight and that healthy lifestyle? You love banana bread though, but you know bananas are really, really high in carbs and that is really bad for weight loss and really bad for belly fat especially but you love that banana bread you love that banana taste well i have an awesome idea for you let's make some banana extract and how did i make that i'm going to use the skin and we are going to make some extract with that now this is a non-alcoholic extract so those of you who don't like alcohol or do indulge in alcohol you can also use this i would also make an alcoholic version where we would not use the skin though but we would use the actual banana itself and use that with the alcohol but for the non-alcoholic version we are going to use the overly ripe banana skin and create this what you're seeing here i already have a batch now after it's done you're going to leave it in a jar to sit with the banana skin and the liquid that you're seeing here for about a week they're going to let that sit this is this already here uh three days ago i made this batch so i just want to do another batch to share with you all because i was like i never made this and share this all with you all so i would really want you all out there who trying your hardest to lose weight or trying to maintain that and still enjoy a good banana bread and what i did with this I try my very best to keep it as natural as possible, not to add any type of spice to interfere with the natural flavors of the banana skin. So there is no set of no, uh, vanilla extracts or any spices, none of that. It's just the banana skin and all of the other ingredients that you would see in this video. So come along in the kitchen with me. Let's make another batch of this banana extract and you can use this for your bread banana bread and if you're making a banana bread as i say and you're on a healthy lifestyle journey you would not want to use um the normal white flour or anything you would want to use something like an almond flour or something like that to make your banana bread all right so let's start putting this recipe together banana extract healthy version non-alcoholic version let's get started with today's recipe So this is normally the measurements that I would go with. To six bananas, I would use one cup of water, then one cup of sugar. So if you're doubling the bananas, you're going to double the ingredients, all right? So as I said, six bananas, I'm using one cup of water. So this is exactly what I had here. Six bananas, I use one cup of water, one cup of sugar. I'm going to let that come to a boil on low heat for one hour. On the lowest heat let that simmer there the way it boils when it's simmering there right so it starts to simmer down there so if you want you can leave it on high until it starts to boil and then once it starts to boil you lower it down to the lowest heat so that way it will come to that boiling stage very quickly right so that is what you want so lower it down once you have it high So I have 16 minutes, 16 minutes again on the hour to go before I take it out from simmering. Remember, I put this for one hour to simmer on the lowest heat on the stove. So we shy of 15 minutes again from this thing turning off. I'm going to let that cool down thoroughly and place it in a jar and let that soak in with that liquid, the banana skin that is, for five days. And then we're going to strain it up. All right, so let the last few minutes continue and we'll be back when it's cool to be strained out. So we are done and we are going to let this cool down thoroughly. You don't want it warm, you don't want it cool, you want it cold, cold, room temperature. You understand? <laughs> now I am going to place it into my jar, the banana skin that is, and then put in the liquid. 
Again, let me go to the ingredients. The banana skin, you're going to use six banana skins, one cup of water, and one cup of sugar. I did not use any sort of spices in this because I want to use the natural flavor from the banana. I want it to be as natural as possible, so therefore, I didn't use any spices. Okay, so we are at day seven. So in the video, I said up to five days, so I, and you could go up to seven. It all depends on how strong you want this syrup to be infused with the banana skin. So I did this for seven days. So today is the seventh day. So I am now going to strain it. I have an empty coffee bottle here. As I always say, I like to reuse my bottles so let's strain this and as i said this is what you would use instead of the actual bananas if you're trying to just cut back on tabs and stuff and you want to use so this is if you're on a you know a healthier lifestyle journey trying to cut out certain things from your diet because as we all know bananas when coming to weight loss and belly fat it's really 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 bad for you so because of the amount of carbs so i would suggest you try it this way and this is the non-alcoholic version and as i said i am going to do the alcohol version which will be coming up after this video so look out for that and in that video we are actually going to use the uh, banana itself and alcohol so this is what we got after seven days so and you would not use the normal flour you would use like almond flour or that kind of thing to make your bread and you're going to use some of this to give that banana taste again when you see you want to change certain things you want to change your diet you have to do what is necessary to get the goals that you have set so you can't expect to set certain goals and keep doing the same old routine because they're not working they keep getting you where you don't want to be so you want to change things around to get to that place that you want to be and you know banana is terrible if you're trying to lose weight especially belly fat it's terrible and you need to cut out certain things plain and simple you know and this is a great option you still have that banana taste and all is well and you're going to cut out the normal flour you're going to use something like an almond flour and make your banana bread all right and this could also use in any type of baking that you're doing and you want that banana taste and i will suggest that you put this in the refrigerator because there is nothing to preserve this this is all natural and i will try to use this within a month I normally finish it within a month so and it stays very well because remember I boil this on the lowest heat for one hour all right and it's not overly sweet it's just right it's not overly sweet at all again this is about losing weight or maintaining weight or staying in a nice neutral spot and you want to enjoy certain things but then you know it is a point where you need to cut out certain things but you can cut out certain things and still enjoy that flavor and not feel guilty and this is a great option so i hope this was helpful to you i hope this this you try this and you see how awesome this simple simple little tweak in your daily routine when coming to eating breads and all these things that we enjoy so much to help you in your progress on this new lifestyle journey that you're on so thanks so much for watching another episode of kenna's corner and look out for another video where we make an extra for the actual banana and that one would be alcoholic the alcohol version all right thanks for watching bye